Good morning again. It's Bob Chu from Stewart and Isla Mirada Boat Works, and we're here on a nice little windy morning in April, and this is a full Carbon and Negra, the most stylish, tasteful 27 Stewart that we've probably ever built. This boat is very special um, in terms of building it to we always build the customer's desires. This boat, the list was quite long, uh, but we managed to pull it off. And this boat will find its way up to Nantucket um, to a custom home builder there. And you can imagine a custom home builder and what he does on houses in Nantucket. He had that much involvement and detail in creating this absolute work of art. So come on aboard, love to show you this boat. So one of the big decisions on the boat was color. Um, if you notice, we have a really gorgeous dark blue hull side. It's called Corinthian blue. We've subsequently already done an Isla Mirada in that color and have another Stuart ordered in that color from people who've come to the shop and seen this boat. Um, from the Corinthian blue hull side, we go to a white deck cap and then a whisper gray interior. Um, the, the combination just works along with the faux teak tow rail. It's just beautiful. The ladder back chairs, now these are real teak. Um, these are actually made by Murray Brothers, Pomponette Murray Brothers. Um, they are permanently affixed. They do have covers, however, individual covers. Um, Two-tone upholstery, picked out the upholstery as well, the, the quality and the brand of the material. So two-tone throughout, rod holder, cup holders forward, has the custom anchor chalk that we've now almost not a standard, but it's becoming more and more so. And just a, a full combing pad, 360 degree, really well done combing pad. All the combing pads we do are relatively thin, relatively stiff, but these will also last forever. They're still very comfortable. And in terms of sitting down, yeah, you can sit down and everything's right where it should be. Your cup holder, right at arm's length. Just a perfect application. We like to make people happy. So I, as I pass the standard cooler seat, go buy the lockable optional six drawer tackle center on my way to the helm. And now the masterpiece becomes even more obvious. So I find myself now in front of this spectacular helm. It's dominated by a 22 inch Garmin screen. You can see the advantages of it. This is split screen with the sonar here, a chart here. The boat has radar. Uh, you can overlay that any of the instrumentation that you want. Your C-Zone digital switches can be here. Anything that's on the CL5 Yamaha digital gauge for the motors can be displayed here. Just really, really beautiful. It also has the ability to, to function through the manual switches. If you didn't want to use touchscreen because your hands were dirty with sunscreen or fish blood or whatever. Um, so yeah. Uh, Yamaha autopilot controls here, start stop here, the, we use fobs instead of keys. On this side here is a cool thing, cell phone charger by Scanstrut. We're doing more of these now. This boat is equipped with something we haven't done in many years, uh, Lenco auto trim leveling system. So once this is set up, this will actually maintain a balanced boat, both fore and aft, uh, and side to side, uh, automatically. So some people might care for that, others might still want to do it old school, but it is a cool functionality of it. Also on this boat, he has a joystick, which has all the new features of Yamaha's joystick. Of course, the digital controls where you can run single lever if you want switch stations to the second station. Um, there's a couple other features. You can raise and lower the RPMs of the motor by 100 RPMs. I shouldn't overlook the Fotique Helm Pod. 
beautiful work that our, our artist does there. Um, this is unique. This owner is very tall, 6'5", 6'4", 6'6", something like that, a, 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 a big gentleman. And he, the wheel below in its standard position was a little too low for him. So we went through a lot of gyrations as to how we could raise that wheel. We finally came upon a regular tilt wheel option. I mean, it, it w w functions really well and he loved it. We went out and ran the boat yesterday and absolutely loved its functionality. Custom wheel that we've gone to uh, of his choice as well. Um, so just cool, super clean, a fiddle on the backside that's faux teak. That, and it's custom because it holds his cover that covers the whole helm as well. Nice touch. Uh, our typical great wiring below. Um, in addition to that, he's not on the VHF on a regular basis, so here is his remote Garmin VHF. Very easily mounts here, out of the way. We have a trick thing here we did for purposes this boat will be on a mooring ball in Nantucket Harbor. Um, so we actually have a switch here that turns on the battery switches so you can lock this. No one would even know it was there. Um, we also have something you'll see later on the hard top. This boat has a solar panel um, so that it has a gauge down below here to show you the state of charge of the batteries based on the solar panels input. And of course, all the beautiful wiring that we're used to seeing in our boats, labeled circuit breakers, in addition to, of course, the C-Zone digital switching system. So really tough to beat, super clean, um, and extra special. So people might ask and have asked, how do you get up into the second station? It's quite easy. We reinforce this. Base, full down foot rest, one step here, one step here, and you're in. So this is the first of a, a new helm console for the second station. Um, we designed this with plenty of real estate for extra items, certainly bigger than what we've had previously. Um, for example, there's a 12 inch Garmin here above the scan strut uh, phone charger. Lenco auto level system, same uh, power button start stops, kill switch, five inch digital gauge, binnacle control. And here we, he chose a black Etsen wheel to stick with the blacked out theme. Just, just cool. I mean, I, I don't, you know, the belly band, the nice custom upholstery, it's a beautiful thing. It, it works great. He pops right up in here. So that's another wonderful thing. Um, to finish this out, black antennas, black rod holders, cup holders, black Garmin 24 mile radar, and blacked out pipe work uh, leading to the all around stern light. Real clean, real, makes a statement about the boat, and of course, running the boat from up here, you know, it changes the boat experience altogether. And so the focal point for people that have seen this boat, besides looking at the beautiful blue hull side, is this helm center. The, the ladder back chairs from Pompanet and Murray Brothers with this custom tray, chairs are custom, but the tray in particular was an additional piece, rigging area, cup holders, actual teak, removable cushions, folding armrests, on both sides as well as in the middle. Pair of rod holders on the outboard edge. Um, on the front, fold down of course, or stand up positioning the two-tone upholstery just, just pops. So you, if you look at the ladder backs here, the Fotik uh, fiddle on the console, Fotik helm pod, the tow rail, and the forward ladder back seats, it, the, I, I don't know what to say other than classic, clean, spectacular. <laughs> That's probably the easiest thing. Um, there is room below, uh, and this will be getting a cooler. Just didn't come in in time for the video, but that will slide in and slide out on tracks. Um, 
beautiful, beautiful arrangement and, and comfortable to say the least. So as I mentioned, this boat will be going to Nantucket. They don't do a lot of live bait fishing there, although they've just ran into pods of white marlin now that they are starting to do more live baiting. Um, but this is a live well in the floor, uh, as he did not want the typical 40 gallon. So this is a 35 gallon um, live well. It's literally out of our Isla Mirada 24. Beautiful live well. It will have a gas shock here based on the finished size and location of the cooler once we install that. So yeah, it's here, it's available, um, 35 gallons, it's rounded on the corners, nice, super clean live well. It does have a diaphragm pump to pump it completely dry at the end of the day if you want to get that very little bit of water out and the boat's in the water. Obviously, if you're getting picked up, going on a trail or a dry storage, it will empty on its own. So moving aft, if anybody's seen any of our videos, you're familiar with our great bilge access, clean layout, we're very proud of. In this case, there's one additional step. I could go through the pumps and the fact that I can touch the diaphragm pumps and the fuel filters, fresh water, salt water wash down, the seacocks. Yeah, it's awesome and it's white, it's finished off, it's beautiful. In addition, on this boat, we did something that he opted for. Some other builders have done it over the years, for sure. But this is our first time. There's a bucket holder down here that was custom built for the bilge to hold two five-gallon buckets. So, and I can touch the holder right there. Um, don't have buckets in it at the time, but just drop them in, stand them up, and they don't uh, inhibit access to any of the seacock handles that you would need to get to to operate a live well, saltwater wash down, etc. So, cool deal. Works great. Looks awesome. Of course, the rest of the stern is things that you're familiar with seeing. Um, saltwater wash down with a hose bar tucked up underneath. There is an electric reel outlet right here. A Hubble, a, wait a minute, right here. <laughs> Yeah, a, a Hubble electric reel outlet. There's one on the other side of the boat as well. On that side, there's fresh water on a hose bar. And there's also the input location and start button for the reverso flush out to flush out both of the motors. Our stern seat, which you're so used to seeing, folds down, flush, nice out of the way. You can pull pins, take it out of the boat and how it works with the full combing, the 360 degree combing. It's just really, really cool. Removable backrests, oscillating arms, two rod holders there, as well as two more rod holders just outboard of the stern seat backrest so you can utilize these rod holders without removing the backrest. Real nice, exactly what he wanted. One thing I didn't mention on the hard top was these gem outrigger bases. Well, where are the outriggers? The outriggers are currently stowed in the rod locker, starboard side rod locker. You won't be able to see them because they're on this bulkhead here. Um, so we put clips in there and they're stored one on top of the other. Uh, still can use your rod storage, no problem there. Those outriggers are gem 12 foot uh, telescopic outriggers. They are rigged as outriggers. However, his primary purpose is that he will use them with the gem sunshade. So he'll be able to put them in here, keep them collapsed to their about seven foot length, and then run the shade out here. So over the back of the cockpit, he'll have sun protection for, for him and his girlfriend. So it, it's very clean, super cool. There'll be times of the year where, of course, he won't use them, so, but he wanted them nice, neat. They just fit in that rod locker. So another little custom touch we've never done before. So how do these make sense? Well, yes, they're more money than the 200s. Yes, they could burn more fuel than the 200s. They're heavier than the 200s, all the downsides more to maintain them when you go in to have the 100-hour service done. The big upside 
is when this boat cruises at its happy spot, 28 to 32 miles an hour, um, these motors don't even know they're running. So these, this boat, the motors run what we call square. The RPMs almost exactly match the speed. So at 30 miles an hour, this boat's running 3,200 RPMs. The rated RPMs for cruising on these motors is all the way up at 4,500 RPMs and 6,000 is max. So the point there is these motors are quieter than 200s running at that 28 to 32 mile an hour cruise, which is the most commonly used speed with the boat. Um, if you do get excited and need to escape a storm or something of that nature, this boat will run in the mid to high 50s, so with the 300. So that might, you know, that's certainly another advantage. How many times you'll need that, not sure. But twin 300s, much more common. Last but not least, Stewart Boatworks side door. Custom, hand-built, no molds, no fancy trim to cover ugly edges, a work of art. Gate folds aft, heavy duty hardware, door opens inward, magnet holds it in place. There's a three-step telescopic ladder. It mounts right here into, with quick releases, boom, right in place. Everything accessible, super clean. Again, all this finish work here, from here to here, all the way around. Heavy duty hardware. Um, it's, a beautiful, it's a beautiful piece of furniture to go with the other pieces of furniture on the boat. So thanks for watching. Another Carbon and Negra 27 Stewart built to make this particular customer very happy. Boat of a lifetime for him as he put it yesterday.